Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you two easy and quick ways to connect your ManyChat flow to your Facebook ad, both using first the native ManyChat Facebook ad integration, and then second, the ManyChat JSON growth tool, which are very, very easy and we'll cover now. So first way, uh, and the way that I actually personally prefer is um, if you would like to connect a ManyChat flow to a Facebook ad in question, you can actually go here, uh, log into your ManyChat account, Scroll down to the ads section of your account. Uh, make sure that your Facebook ads manager is synced, which if it isn't already, should just take a few minutes. Um, not that difficult, just follow kind of the steps that ManyChat lays out. Once you do that, you can actually create a new ad and go through the entire kind of process like you would in Facebook ads manager here in your ManyChat account, okay? So you can do it that way. And I find this kind of uh, integrates a little bit better. However, uh, Last time I set up an ad here, it was a little bit limited in terms of you know the ad targeting and things that I could do compared to what I could do in Facebook Ads Manager. Okay, so it's kind of one of the downsides. Otherwise, it it flowed kind of really well, and um, this is way number one, fairly easy to do. Uh, number two is also easy to do, uh, but a lot of people get tripped up by, and that is by using the JSON growth tool. So here's what you want to do by using the second method. I'll show you how it works. Uh, you'll want to go ahead and create a new growth tool. Okay, so click on new growth tool. And specifically, we want to create a Facebook ads JSON growth tool. So this one right here with the thumbs up. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. So you see here, ManyChat actually uh, asked, would you like to try ads in instead? Ads are what we just went through here, kind of that native integration within ManyChat of setting up the ads right here. Um, we're gonna say no, because we wanna do the JSON and we don't wanna see the message again. So proceed with JSON, okay. So once we create this growth tool, we need to connect the growth tool to our flow. Remember, um, growth tools are the way that someone becomes a subscriber in your flow. It's, it's the kind of the connector between the random person and your flow, okay? So we can rename this whatever we want. Um, probably don't wanna leave it as 66. <laughs> so maybe we wanna change that. Um, that doesn't really matter. So you can name it whatever you, whatever you want, but we'll just call it Facebook JSON example, okay? Uh, hit save. And then the second thing that we wanna do is um, this JSON growth tool will come with a default flow attached with it, which we don't want. What we wanna do is we wanna hit the replace button and replace whatever flow that they have by default with the flow that you wanna to connect to your, to your um, Facebook ad, okay? So go ahead and click on replace here and select whatever um, flow that you wanna replace with. Once that is done and that's connected, that's obviously the first important step, you'll wanna click on setup, okay? So in setup, scroll down, we see all this code here. What we're gonna to wanna to do is copy code to clipboard. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that and I'll show you exactly where to use this code. So it looks like a big mess, but honestly, it's not that difficult. You just gotta make sure you insert it correctly. After we copy this code, we're going to go to our Facebook ads account, okay? And if you haven't already uh, created your ad, go ahead, create your campaign, your ad group or ad groups. And then once you get to the ad level, okay, which I'm just using this for example, so I don't have anything filled out here. But once you get to the ad level, which you can see here, right, we have campaign, ad set, and then ad in Facebook ads manager, okay, we are going to scroll down until you see message template. Under message template, select the advanced setup option. Under advanced setup, we're gonna go ahead and click create. Okay, so click the create button. There'll be something kind of default right here. What we're gonna do, go to the very top left, kind of to that top left bracket. We're gonna um, select all, oops, just give me an issue here. We're gonna select all and then delete, which I'm actually just having to drag. Oh, there we go. So I've selected everything. Let me go back up for a second. Sorry about that. And we'll go ahead and delete all this out. There, empty JSON, that's what we want. Okay, so we wanna clear out what was already there and enter in our own JSON code. So we go back to ManyChat. We should already have this copied, but just to make sure it's copied, great. Back to Ads Manager. And now we are simply going to paste our new JSON code here in the advanced JSON setup, okay? So once that's set up, great. We're gonna go ahead and hit the save button, which I might be covering right now. Hit save and finish. There we go. And we're almost good to go. There's still one more important step. So you wanna make sure that you preview um, in Messenger to make sure that everything is syncing up correctly. Uh, something else to keep in mind as well that I've seen uh, some other um, people getting in issues with is as of last time I checked, the last time I tried to set up an ad, 
uh, your first message in your kind of with this JSON code, wherever this JSON code leads, like that first message in your flow should not have the user's um, first name right there. That That is an example of something that could actually um, present an issue. So Facebook may give you this issue and give you this error number for whatever reason. A lot of people have been doing this and I've been getting a lot of questions. So I want to call this out. You get an error message. Uh, and again, there's all these different errors that you could get, but this one in particular that could be, uh, just check your flow, make sure that you're in that kind of beginning message, you're not utilizing the person's first name uh, in that first message, just take it out if you are. And if you don't know what I'm talking about or if, you, or if you're not using anyone's first name, don't worry about it. Um, just make sure that you preview to make sure that everything is flowing correctly, okay, which is obviously very, very important. And once you see that everything's good and synced up, great, continue on with your ad, finish up everything, make it look nice, hit publish, and it's ready to go. Now your many chat flow is synced up with your Facebook ad. And those are two easy um, and relatively fast ways of doing it. If you have any other questions, uh, be sure to let me know in the comment section. But if you like the video, give the video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe because we have a lot of great tutorials currently here on the channel about ManyChat, Amazon FBA, Shopify, and a whole host of other digital marketing and e-commerce topics now and more coming in the very near future. And I want to make sure you don't miss out. So as always, thank you so much for watching and your support. God bless and look forward to seeing you in future videos.